I don't regard my state of mind as some pessimistic view of the world. I regard it as the world itself. Evolution cannot avoid bringing intelligent life ultimately to an awareness of one thing and one thing above all else. That one thing is futility. If I'm understanding you right, you're saying everybody that just ain't eat up with the dumbass ought to be suicidal? Yes. You ain't shitting me? No, I am not shitting you. If people could see the world for what it truly is, see their lives for what they truly are without dreams or illusions, I don't believe they could offer the first reason why they should not elect to die as soon as possible. I don't believe in God. Can you understand that? Look around you, man. Can't you see the clamor and din of those in torment has to be the sound most pleasing to his ear. And I loathe these discussions. The argument of the village atheist whose single passion is to revile endlessly that which he denies the existence of in the first place. Your fellowship is a fellowship of pain and nothing more. And if that pain were collective instead of merely reiterative, the sheer weight of it would drag the world from the walls of the universe and send it crashing and burning down through whatever night it might yet be capable of engendering until it was not even ash and brotherhood, justice, <laughs> eternal life. Good God, man, show me a religion that prepares one for nothingness, for death. That's a church I might enter. Yours prepares one only for more life, for dreams, illusions, lies. Banish the fear of death from men's hearts, they wouldn't live a day. Who would want this nightmare but for fear of the next? <laughs>